morning of uh, 7th of December today, and it got cold again last night. We've had it pretty cold the last, uh, I don't know, five or six nights. Uh, night before last, it was 6 degrees Fahrenheit. And tonight, it was, I think it got down to like 8 or 9, something like that, Fahrenheit. And that's in here, because I have, I have a little remote thermometer. But that's what it got down to in here. Now, let's see how this water's doing. I have a water temperature thing here. Let's see. And it says, look at that, 41. It says 41.4 degrees. Even though there's a little bit of uh, ice on the top. Let me, uh, let me let me show over you. here. And you can see that there's a, oh, just a, I guess it's just, it's like slush on the top. It's not really thick. But there's something on the top, and it's still 41 degrees. It hasn't gotten, this water has not gotten below 41 degrees. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Now let's go over here just to show you. This is another grow thing I've had. And uh, this is just uh, regular water now. See, this is frozen over. Now I'm looking down here. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how where the bottom is. Well, it's December 8th here. Now, inside the sun deck, you can see it's uh, 24 degrees Fahrenheit. And everything is frozen solid uh, in here. These are, here's the uh, sump for the, uh, what I call my uh, lettuce machine. It's frozen solidly through. All the water in here is frozen. I'm going to go over here to this. This is running, having a lot of tomato plants but you can see this is my fish tank this is where the fish were and I believe that's frozen solidly through now I was just uh, doing this to contrast it with the uh, large greenhouse that fish pond I dug has a thin layer of ice on top now and it, maybe it's I don't know eighth inch thick it's just a very very thin layer but the water underneath it is 40.8 degrees but anyway uh, it's the sun deck. It's got a lot of sunshine, and on sunny days it still warms up in here to 50, 60 degrees, but the water's frozen solid in here. That's what happens in the wintertime. Okay, it's uh, 9 December here, and let's take a look at the uh, greenhouse. It's kind of dark in here because the roof is covered with snow right now. We had a snowstorm. It warmed up a little bit last night, as I was saying. And you can see inside here it's... Uh, about 30 degrees so let's see how the pond is now look at that if you remember yesterday there was a, <clears throat> a little skin of ice on top just a tiny bit now there's uh, it's gone now, but there's a few little chunks floating around and let's see what the uh, temperature is <clears throat> 40.8 degrees it's holding at 40.8 look at that well, it's another morning here. It's December the 11th, and as you can see, it's about 32 degrees in here. I think it got down a little bit past 30 last night, so it's been warming up a little bit. Let's go have a look at how the pond is looking. Okay, as you can see, I don't see any ice sheen or anything on top. Let's have a look at the temperature. 41.7. So, uh, if you remember, the coldest it got when it was really cold outside was uh, 40.8 I think so it's 41.7 so uh, it's still a full 10 degrees warmer than it is in the air in here so that thing is working let's go over here and look at these uh, grow beds see if they're thawing out and they are look at that uh, this is still ice but as you can see there's water on top of it and there's that one piece yeah the and, ice uh, Look at these celeries. This is amazing. Uh, they're not dead, even though their roots are in solid ice right now. You see, they're 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 leaning over, but uh, the ones that they're some, see, look at that. They're they're uh, kind of trying to stand up. This is amazing. These things will overwinter, even when they're frozen, practically solid. It's the 12th of December in the new greenhouse. You can see the temperature there is about 35 degrees. I know from my recording thermometer that it got down to 18 degrees in here last night. And right now outside it is 18 degrees. So, 
Now you can see there is no no ice at all on the pond. And let's see what the temperature here says. 41.5. And uh, let's go over here and see if this is melting any. And uh, now as you can see there was a little bit of water on here yesterday. And that's all frozen back up again. So this is not thawing out. All right, it's the 13th of uh, December today. It's 32 in here. It's 18 degrees outside. And overnight it got 18 degrees in here. I'm pretty sure. Let's look at the water temperature again. And it says 41 degrees. Very good. And look at that. There's a thermometer on the ground. That says 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. 15th of December today. It's been snowing all day. And it is uh, 34, 36 degrees in here. It looks like it right now it's 30, uh, about 30 degrees outside. It warmed up a little bit overnight. Let's see what the water temperature is. And that is 41.4 degrees. And you can see right on the ground there, it's about 38 degrees. Okay, it's the 16th of December today, and it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And you can see here it's uh, 24, 25. Now let's see what the water temperature is. Look at that. It hasn't even gotten a sheen of ice. 41.2. It's December the 18th today. And it is 18 degrees inside the greenhouse. It's zero outside right now. Was, uh, we've had a couple of days now where it's been very, very cold. And it was uh, 10 degrees. It never got above 30 yesterday. Or maybe it was 20. But anyway, as you can see, look on the pond here. There's a little sheen of ice on top of there. Don't know how thick that is, but let's see how the water temperature is. Uh, it's 40 degrees, 40 and one half degrees. And you can see that temperature thermometer laying on the ground says it's 25. Uh, that's interesting with the pond, with ice on the top, it's still not below 40 degrees. So if we get several more days of this, uh, you know, very cold temperature, we probably will. Maybe we got a month left of it. We'll see what happens to that uh, pond. I don't know if you can see that, but I thought I'd take a picture of it. You can see uh, condensation out of the clear atmosphere. It's zero degrees out here, and I guess this is uh, just uh, moisture in the air cond condensing. I mean, look over here, there's not a cloud in the sky. But, uh, I don't know, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Wow. All right, it's the 19th of December today, and I don't know if you can see that too well. It looks a little dark in here, but it's 18 degrees in here. And I know overnight it got down to 7 degrees in here. So now it's, we've had several days now of freezing weather. Let's see here. Now it looks like there's a little more, I don't know how thick that is. It looks to me like it's maybe a quarter inch thick or something like that, but... Look at the temperature. That says 40.8 degrees. Now that's down about oh, two feet below the water line down there. So still it's not below 40 degrees. Then we come over here <clears throat> just so you can get a comparison. This is, uh, for all I can tell, it's frozen solid. I don't know. It's zero outside. Zero Fahrenheit. And... Uh, it's about 18 degrees inside here. So, and then that water, like I say, that water is 40 degrees still. So that's the update. It's the 20th of December today, and it's warmed up a little bit. Remember, it was zero last night. This morning, it's about 18 degrees outside. And you can see it's about, um, it's 28 degrees in here. Uh, I think in here last night, it might have gotten down to, I don't know, uh, 18 degrees maybe, but you can see over here there's still this little uh, little sheen of ice 
Now one thing I want to do is, uh, well let's look at the temperature is 41 degrees still. What I want to do is, let's see how thick this ice is. Okay, you can see, let me see if I can lift that up. Ah, it's maybe a quarter of an inch thick, something like that. So, it's not really very thick, but, uh, you know, there's 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 a quarter of an inch, something like that, maybe. Now remember, it's been it's been in the ten degree range in here um, overnight for the last four or five nights. So anyway, let's go over here and let's see how this is doing. And this, to me, looks like it's still one solid block of ice. I don't know if you can see this stuff floating in there, but. You know, you can see fissures in the ice down there. It looks to me like this is, this thing is completely solid ice. Anyway, the pond is doing good. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's the report for today. Well, it is the 21st of December today, and there's a storm coming, so it's warming up a little. 30 degrees in here. As a matter of fact, I think it's uh, 30 degrees outside. So it must have warmed up during the night. But let's look at the pond. Oh, look at that. See that? Some of the ice has receded here. You can see it. And, uh, yeah. And so there's not, anyway, the water temperature is 40.8. So that's quite interesting. Now, look at that. You can see a bubble on the bottom of the ice there. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but, but uh, it looks to be maybe a quarter of an inch thick. But that's in the middle. And like I say, if you look on the edges... You can see it is receding, so that's quite interesting. It is the 23rd of December, and it is uh, 3 degrees outside. And look here, it's uh, 30 degrees here. It's morning, so the sun has been up for a couple of hours. And I think that's why it's so warm in here. Well, 30 degrees, that's relatively warm, I guess. Let's look here at this, you know, you see... So the moment on the dirt is uh, 38 degrees, and the water temperature is 41 degrees, if you can see it on that. And if you look here, the ice, if you remember a few days ago, the ice was uh, quite, well, relatively solid, and I, I punched a hole in it, but if you look at this, well, it looks here, here we go, let's try to punch a hole in that. There. I don't know if you saw that, but let's see. I you can see, so the depth, let me pull a piece of the ice up. Yeah, let's get a piece of this here. There you go. It's not very deep. It's, it's maybe a quarter of an inch. And even over here, well, even over there, it's easy to punch through it. Anyway, so, well, that's quite interesting. It's that cold outside. And I know and in here it probably got down to 10 degrees last night. Now if we look over here at the grow beds, I see these look like, yeah, they're still frozen solid all the way through, I would guess. Anyway, that's the report for today.